Greetings, humans. I'm Andy, and I'm Josh. And welcome back to the Room of Horse Horses. Teeth. Teeth? Yes, look, teeth. Yeah, there's a teethy thing behind Zato, who is a big buff guy who wears clothes that look buff themselves. And he has weird red glasses and a belt on his forehead. A buffed guy in buffed clothes with a buff teethy thing. Everything is buffed with this one. Even the song length. It's six minutes! Right, so he looks like the kind of guy who could definitely carve away through a jungle or whatever may be. Um, he looks like the kind of guy who wouldn't have much in parallel with art and music, which is a weird combo, so let's see what it's on about. I agree. No. Yo!
makes you think is a shadow always with him. Yeah, yeah, probably. Um, wow, my favorite Guilty Gear character theme so far. I mean, it would have to compete with Milia. I don't know if my favorite, but definitely the most impressive. Yeah, there was a lot of stuff going on. So I feel like the, the first half, like up to the first two choruses, mm -hmm. it was kind of a bit slower tempo than what we usually get. It didn't have a chorus that blows out of the gate so open as... A lot of them do, so it was a lot more kind of like laid back, in a sense. I, f I felt it was also lower in tone, like less high yes, notes, yes. more ominous, yes. more menacing, and aggressive in a way. And, and it had those orchestral effects. Yes. So th those were creating tension too, and rhythmic intricacies. Like hell, like actual math metal style stuff. Like if you if you had the guitar sound be like Tesseract guitar sound, it would have sounded janty. Yeah. That sort of math stuff. So, so you have that, you have that sort of, more grayish, less consonant, catchy thing going on for a while. And then they start mix it up on the second half. And that was, um, well, first it went really fast. Yeah. And then it went really slow. It, went, it didn't have a proper solo. It yes. had, it had leaks, leads going on mm -hmm. here and there on the fast part. Yeah. And I think also on, uh, uh between verse and chorus. Mm hmm. So it had those, but it didn't have an actual solo and it just had the heavy part coming. Yes. And then from the heavy part, I don't even remember it, what happened and then it flowed directly into the atmospheric bit. Yeah. Which was basically musical theater again at the end. Yeah. And the part at the end sounded oddly peaceful compared to how tense the first part was. I don't know if it was peaceful as much as, uh, melancholic. Melancholic. Yeah. Because the whole thing was darker mm -hmm. and the lyrics were darker too. Like, he's living in pain, he yeah. said that, and he's living in the past. Mm -hmm. So this guy's obviously kind of lost track of reality. So, and he's in his own head, and there's no good and no bad in there. So then why would you let him carve your way if he can't tell El apart the good from the bad? Well, I don't know why you should, but he obviously thinks you should. So, if, if, if I were, if I were, if he'd tell that to me, I'd be like, nah, I'm good, bro. I'm good, bro. <laughs> um, you do, you yeah. go to therapy. <laughs> And another thing, I don't know if you spotted, not in the lyrics, but in the images we had showing, there were some lines showing up that said something like, uh, instead of reflecting on themselves, they blame the beast. Yes, except we've seen that already before in many other reactions and mentioned it before. It was in Giovanna. Yes. This guy also has beasts. Oh, and in Giovanna, it was actually in the lyrics. But here, her beast is a fluffer and his beast is a teethy red-eyed shadow. Yes, but they both have beasts. I like her beast better than his. It's less scary. What I'm saying is I think they might be on the same side. I'd expect her beast to be sleeping with you on your bed and his beast to be hiding under your bed. If you catch my drift. So if you got both of them with you, you got both the upside and the downside of your bed protected. It was good. It was very good. It's I really like this one. Confusing though. Like this one messes with your head. Are we done here? Yes. So if you enjoyed this reaction, we'd greatly appreciate the likes and shares. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe with bells on. Thank you very much for stopping by. We hope you enjoyed your stay and we'd love to see you back at the windmill very soon. Cross it out.